Um, my name is Dana Alexander. I currently have an eighth grader at Kyrene Middle School. And I just wanted to make everyone aware of something that I've been experiencing at Kyrene um, for the last week or two. Um, on Tuesday, April 9th, my daughter came home from school and had handwritten notes that she had taken in David Holdcraft's class. It was their advisory class. Um, and the quotes that she had written on her piece of paper were um, part of discussions that were going on during this time. And the, pap the paper had words on it that were written, hope for impeachment, our only immigration problem is with our president in office, and online stupidity led to our president in office. And there was discussion going on in the room regarding these things. And these were things that my daughter wrote down um, that she heard Mr. Holdcraft speak about in the class. Um, I wanted to get more information about what went on in that class during that day. If my daughter felt uncomfortable enough or felt that it was important enough to write it down, it was important enough for me to investigate and find out why. Um, I sent off some emails. I was waiting to hear back on those emails. Um, on April 16th, I received a phone call from Mr. Nasuda, who is the assistant principal at Apprende. Um, he tried to explain that perhaps my student had misheard what was being said. Um, you know, maybe she didn't get the whole conversation. They have conversations in the class. Um, at that point, I had to stop Mr. Nasuda because that same day on April 16th, in Jake Brown's science class, a list was handed out to the students. They were to choose a person on the list with which to write a report about. Um, I have a copy of that list with me. It took me two tries to get that list from him, but I have it if you'd like to see. He told the students that the list purposefully did not contain any scientists or science-related people that were white men because they learn about white men all day long at school. My daughter was concerned um, enough to come home and tell me that there was this list and this is who they had to choose from and would I help her with the report. Um, so based on what had happened earlier in that day, I ended the call with Mr. Nasuda and let him know that I didn't want to hear any more excuses. On April 17th, I received an email from Renee Corey, who is the principal at Kyrene Apprende. She had explained that she was out of town. She knew that I was not pleased with Mr. Nasuda's response and that I should contact Dr. Knight and file a formal complaint and begin the process to move forward with Dr. Knight or meet with Ms. Corey upon return. Dr. Knight emailed me the steps to follow to file a complaint against the employee to steer my concerns through, quote unquote, the proper chain of authority. He also said that I could reach out to Laura Tanjas, Ms. Corey's supervisor. Um, Ms. Corey's email also, and I'm going to quote what the email said, the teachers will be disciplined by me, I can assure you. We will not make excuses for their behavior, rather educate them on what is- Ms. Alexander, your time is up. Thank you.